Hey everybody, I got another freezing cold day where I can't work, so we're going to be down here working on the fish room. If anybody ever wonders when I talk about not being able to work on the cold days or really windy, rainy days, I spray deer repellent, and since it's a water-based liquid repellent, I obviously can't spray that on days where it's really cold out or if it's raining, it's going to wash it off of the plants that I'm spraying it on, uh, etc. So that's what I mean when I say I can't work on days like today. But I have been out in the yard rooting around looking for some pieces of woodwork. Uh, we're not actually going to be focusing on the waterfall part of it today. We're going to be focusing on the tank part of it. But I did want to point out uh, one thing. When I came down this morning, my piece of wood right here was getting pretty dry. And I was no longer seeing the dripping that you're getting down here on this end. And so I was afraid everything over here would stop getting fresh water coming in. So I took some of the Creeping Jenny that's hanging down. You can see this one piece. I sort of laid it over top of the bark there. And immediately I just saw the water start working its way down the bark. And that was about an hour ago. Well, probably not even an hour ago. Probably about 30 minutes ago, right, right before I went outside, actually. And so now we've got it back to dripping out of that end and everything looks good. So what we're going to do today is start working on the tank. I did a little bit of tinkering around last night, but nothing really to speak of. So we're going to get a look at what I've done so far, and then this can be sort of a before and after video because I found some really good stuff out in the yard, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I put this market pack just over the end, kind of the way you would with a case of soda over the rail of your shopping cart. And that can maybe stay, maybe not. I don't know. That's, you know, I just threw that on there last night. I did make a little metal hanging rack. And now my flag lily is floating above the bottom. And you probably notice all those little fish swimming around there. There's a ton of little fish up there hiding in the corner. I uh, put all the guppies from my little tank over here. I may have missed one or two. I don't know. We'll break that, that uh, tank down later. I am going to uh, use the rocks and stuff out of there. They'll already have bacteria all over them, so they'll basically be pre-cycled rocks that are going to go in this tank. I have been checking the ammonia and the nitrites. Uh, I had some ammonia before. I don't now, so I think all of my forced cycling with uh, adding bacteria from other tanks has paid off, and I think we're pretty much done with worrying about cycling it, uh, especially since I'm going to be putting some of those pre-cycled rocks in this tank. Uh, that won't be an issue, especially for the very, very small bio load, especially when you consider all of these plants are going to be sucking the uh, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate out of the water. So I don't think we have to worry about cycling this tank uh, in any real significant fashion. So we've got the plant hung up here. I threw a bunch more water sprite in on the top. You can see I've got a piece of woodwork right through the middle there. That is actually, if you've heard the story before about how I collected up a piece of wood out at Pretty Boy Reservoir years and years ago to put in my, what is now my Black Ghost Nightfish tank, but was then my African tank, that is actually a piece of that woodwork. And it's always moved around. It's always been in different tanks. And up until yesterday, that was in my guppy tank that I just showed you. I pulled that piece of wood out, and now it's in there. And what I really want is some wood sticking significantly up out of the water. I've got this one propped up enough that you can just see the tip of it sticking up, but I want something more significant than that. So that was the purpose of going out and walking around the yard. I was looking for a good piece of woodwork, and as of yet, uh, I don't have it in there, but I did go, I did find some good stuff, and we're going to look at some footage of that. I'm sorry I got distracted for a minute there. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the footage. I'm just going to sort of do a edited highlights reel. If you want to see all of the uncut footage of me wandering around the yard and talking about this and that, uh, you can go check out my Patreon page. I generally put the stuff that doesn't make it to my YouTube videos uh, over there. I do some behind the scenes stuff and things like that. So I'll put all of that raw footage. It's maybe 15 minutes of me walking around the yard. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and reduce that and show you just the highlights. Uh, and then we'll get back in here and we'll see what this tank looks like in just a few moments. So have a look at your before. I think most of the stuff down here is just going to be too dry. There's some 
pieces of metal. I'm not sure what that's from. Oh. You know, if you recently went with me down to the stream down the street, I said I was looking for a specific piece of uh, vegetation or specific kind of growth. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I couldn't find it last time I went out of my kayak. And I just found it. It's right here in my own front yard. So some of this is definitely coming in with us. I think that'll be enough. Yay. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll know it when I see it. And so far, I ain't seeing it. That's a good log there, too. That's still just rotten. That's a pretty good piece of wood. Told you it's cold out here. That's ice, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, well, we found that plant, and we found this, so this is pretty good. I could probably even get another good chunk of it right here. All right, these might do something. This vine, this one's got potential. That's definitely got potential. Cut there and there. Let's go get these inside for now. All right, and there's your after. Now, we've got a lot to go over because I got carried away and we worked on not only the tank itself, but the waterfall and we put some more plants in and we've just got a lot of stuff to go over. I've almost forgotten where we left off in the other video. So you can see I've got a lot of the rocks propped up and just sort of structured the inside of the tank so we can see what's going on a little bit. Hopefully it will also create a lot of habitat for uh, the animals that are going to be in the tank. Right now it's still just the guppies, but while I was walking around the basement looking for a piece of wood to do something we're going to have a look at in a minute, in the far back corner of the basement, I found that. So I suspected that we only had one crayfish left in my crayfish tank, or my quarantine tank that was in the other room. Squeaker came down to say hello. And indeed we did. There's one crayfish left in there, but it's a pretty good sized crayfish. And it's not quite, let me see what I'm doing here. It's not quite a soft shell, but it is, it's not even a paper shell. It's a little past that, but it's got some give to it. It's actually much uh, firmer now than it was this morning when I put it in that container. So that's the crayfish that I've got that's going in there. And then of course we'll try to get the one out of the uh, native tank as well so here we go everybody we've now officially got a crayfish in the tank i was able to find one of those sculpins in the tank as well i didn't catch it or get it out or anything all i worried about was getting the crayfish out of there but i wanted to make sure i at least got that on video so now that he's in the tank we can stop worrying about that and we can get on with what else we did to it 
So once we come up above the tank, you can see I used a pretty good size piece of wood and that comes up and sort of disguises that edge and softens that edge, sort of naturalizes it if you will. And in order to sort of disguise the broken off top of that piece of wood, that's where I was around in the basement looking for a piece of wood and I just put a little uh, 90 degree bracket here with this piece of wood and then that allows me to put my uh, planter up there which will allow us to not really see the planter but we're just gonna have a nice cascade of those dead nettles coming down this side and growing over that piece of wood so in addition to the wood that's in the tank I removed the piece of bark that was up here and we put this nice piece in I've also got this piece over here kind of softening this side of the tank and that goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank and then we uh, managed to get my original piece of wood that was in there propped up and sticking out so we've got that sticking up and then of course you can see all that now the big white filter in the back is only temporary uh, one of my viewers gave me the excellent suggestion of using, um, instead of the uh, isopropyl alcohol container, which is sort of like a translucent white color, uh, they suggested using a hydrogen peroxide bottle, which is dark brown. And that's what I'm going to do. Next time I get up to the Wiley World, I'm going to buy a bottle of peroxide and just dump it into another container. And then I'll have basically a nice little filter there going on in the tank. So I also was able to take that uh, green stuff I found out in the yard. There's plants I've been looking for. We've got some there. We've got some there. Uh, I put some up here. Hopefully that's going to get enough moisture on it that it's going to do well. And we'll get some, you know, cascade effect hanging down there. And I also put a little bit of that in this planter along with some moss and some stone crops. So maybe we'll get a little bit of, you know, sort of flowing over uh, on this corner here. And it'll soften that corner of the tank as well uh, other than that I uh, oh no I actually went up the street and went fishing don't know if I already mentioned that or not it's been a hectic day I've been doing a lot of stuff in here I was not able to catch any sunfish I caught so many creek chubs I caught huge creek chubs today I couldn't believe the the fishing day I had I uh, didn't take my camera with me again just spur of the moment ran up the street hoping to bring back a sunfish but did not lots of creek chubs no sunfish but what I did find was this piece of wood you can't really see the roots sticking out but that's like the you know it's almost like a splayed fingers that it's sitting on and then the you know main trunk goes up and it's just got that bit of moss growing on it I found that uh, in a pile of wood off to the side of the road I had to climb over the guardrail and climb down in the woods to dig that one out but it's totally worth it that is just awesome looking I also was able to pull some more moss out of the backyard and put some different stuff up there and you will now notice that you can no longer see where the water's coming in. So I don't know if I like that or not. Um, you can kind of see it if you look sort of right there. You can notice it sort of flowing in underneath of that, but it doesn't really give you a nice bubbly spring welling up into the area kind of effect. So we've probably still got a long way to go. Uh, with what this is going to look like, but I've come a long way today. It looks a lot better. I've also noticed that where it used to be like sort of whitish where the water was flowing, all that whiteness has gone away. So I'm not sure, but I would suspect that's got something to do with the silicone finishing curing. It probably wasn't completely done curing yet, and uh, now it is, and that's why we're not seeing any of that white color coming through. I also sort of backed up this area with some stones and some pieces of wood so we're getting some overflow instead of just sluicing through here it's kind of backing up and flowing over and that's what all that's from and then of course that's doing a really great job of getting all this side completely watered and it gives us much more of the desired effect at least my uh, desired effect I never had any intention of just seeing water pouring off of one spot into the tank I've always imagined you know almost just like a rainfall or just water dripping all along the whole front edge um, you know weeping out of the plants and dripping off of the plants and the roots hanging down so we're getting there uh, a couple little pieces of wood I just tucked in here again just sort of soften the edges and take away that sort of rubbery look on the corners 
Uh, and I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else we need to cover today. So we've got a crayfish in the tank. We've got guppies in the tank already. That sculpin will go in there soon. I will do that on video, of course, if I, you know, when I do it, I should say. I will make sure I get that on video. And, of course, we'll do any more uh, updates as they come along. Yep, I think that's about it. I cannot think. Oh, no, no. I got one more thing that I've done. I moved my small planter of dead nettles that's here. That little thing sticking up. It's also got uh, one of the... Uh, bugle weeds or ajutas in there that was over here and was going to be hanging out and flowing down this way But I actually removed a bunch of the blockage I had put in here that sort of forced it to overflow on this end and By allowing the water to flow through here much more quickly I also moved my philodendron and hung it over this end and my uh, dead nettles are now over this side with some bugleweed growing in up here and then hopefully we're going to get again a little bit of a cascade effect with the dead nettles coming down over there and then I'm not sure when I did this but I took my bromelade plant uh, that is now up here that used to be sort of tucked away down here and it's been in a couple spots now but that is now up here and we'll just have to see how that one works out and uh, whether that stays there or not and now I think that's it. I don't think I can think of anything else I've done uh, today working on this. So there you go, everybody. Big changes today. We're definitely coming along. We're definitely getting there. So make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up. Make sure you get that notification bell on because you never know when I might do another live stream and you don't want to miss that. And then don't forget, of course, I call this one my waterfall tank. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you real soon in the next one.